if a water pipe hasn't busted on your street, you've at least seen all the streams of random water as you've driven through Houston. So how much water has the city been hemorrhaging? The 13 investigates team has been wanting to know that answer for months and finally has all the public records. Our reporter Kevin Ozevic joined us with what he found out. Kev? Well, as many of you at home were under water restrictions, the amount of water being wasted because of broken city pipes wasn't in the millions. It was in the billions. Yet again, Peter Colling and his dogs are puddle dodging. What's it like to walk outside your front door and you just see all this water just pouring out of that leak? You know it's waste. This is the second time this year this water pipe has gushed out water. The first time was this summer. Look at this leak right here. The summer of when Eyewitness News crews were on leak patrol. That water main break is actually just behind me. Thanks to one of the driest summers on record, the rain thirsty ground shifted and cracked an aging pipe infrastructure. The result? Man, come on, they, they got water mains broke all over Houston. In June, as hundreds of leaks were reported a day, Public Works reported a whopping 2.2 billion, yep, billion with a B, gallons of water being unaccounted for. And as the sizzling summer continued, so did the water waste. Another 2.4 billion gallons were reported unaccounted for in July. And in August, 2.4 billion gallons of water again were unaccounted for. The waste of money going down the drain. And She's not kidding. It all adds up to 6.9 billion gallons of water. That's enough to fill more than 14,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And if you were to run that much water out of your tap, your water bill from the city would be more than $207 million. Why are they not doing anything about the water? Well, they are. Public works spending is skyrocketing to fix broken pipes. The city spent $7.3 million on pipe repairs in 2021, $18.7 million last year, and now $32.8 million year to date. Just throwing money at it obviously isn't working, and so something else needs to be done. So what is Public Works doing to improve our water pipeline infrastructure? The department refused to give us an interview, but sent us a statement saying, Houston Public Works crews and 12 contractors work diligently to repair water leaks in a timely manner and have repaired more than 7,000 water leaks since June. Their spokesperson also sent us this document showing two infrastructure projects worth more than $9 million to fix six miles of pipes are in progress. But is this all enough, especially for those who see water pouring when they look out their front door? Do you think the city's being proactive enough? Probably not. We also did go to the last city council meeting to see if we could get Mayor Turner's view on the issues with public works. When we asked him if we could talk to him about this, he wished us a Merry Christmas and walked away. Interesting, also very interesting, Kevin, is that the word unaccounted for is being used here. Would it be any other thing than leaks? Well, when fire crews use a fire hydrant, any of the water they use would be unaccounted for. That's how the city classifies it. But we know leaks made up a significant portion of the figure this summer. For example, in cooler months, less than 1% of the water that flowed through Houston Public Works ended up unaccounted for. But in June, when the leaks started springing, it shot up past 10%. In August, Eric, it was nearly 20%. Yeah, the, mind, the numbers here are mind-boggling, especially considering how precious water is at this point and what we're all dealing with on so many different levels. And look at the taxpayer money involved here. All right, Kevin, great work. Thank you.